Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from Guitar Lessons 365.com. Today we're gonna learn how to play Michelle by the Beatles. So we got some uh, interesting chord forms in here. They must have bought McCartney a, a chord dictionary or something. He just went nuts with it. So we're gonna start here with this little opening line. All right, so that's going to be, and we're all in standard tuning here, by the way, the 8th fret on the high E, ninth on the B, and then 10th on the G. And the note that's just going to move down is the note on the G. But you're going to have to change the fingers around to make that happen. So we're going to start with just picking the G string, and then pick the B and the high E together. Then you can move that note down to the ninth fret, so you have to move this finger over to play the 9, and then play the ninth on the B with your 3rd finger. Same picking. And then to move it down another fret, you gotta kinda change to a D major shape there. Obviously that's not a D major chord there, but. Then move the first finger down one more fret. Then one more fret. So we have this so far. Now as you're holding this chord, gonna go up down on that that eight and then nine together that are on the B string and then the two sixes here you're gonna just be barring there so you can play the six on the G and uh, the B and the high E together and then play the six on the G and the nine on the B together so we got this All right, now you're gonna grab the, you're gonna slide into this kind of a C power chord, which is a uh, the seventh fret on the high E, seventh fret on the B, ninth fret on the D. Now you can just mute that G string with the bottom of your ring finger there. So when you pick that, slide into the eighth fret, and you kind of pick the top dude, and then the D, back to the top two, and back to the D. Or if you can hyper pick. All right. All right. Now we have the main uh, chords here. Is So we're going to start here with this F major chord. So it's going to be a bar across, um, uh, it doesn't really need to be a bar, it's 7th fret on the D, 5th fret on the G, 6th on the B, 8th on the high E. Now move everything up one fret and then do the bar with your first finger and just lift up your second finger. So the very first time he plays this in the song, it's a little different than he does the rest of the song. So he starts with that same chord each time. And it's right here where it changes. So that little finger is at the ninth fret there on the high E string. You pick that for half the measure and then move it over to the B string. So we have this. Now do a bar across four strings at the eighth fret across the first, second, third, and fourth string. Now I have this little diminished triad thing which just goes, you can go symmetrical um, three frets at a time. So it's going to be sixth fret here on the D, seventh on the G, uh, sixth on the B. Then move that up three frets to the ninth fret, and then the twelfth back down to the nine. Then to a standard C major bar shape, bar chord, at the 8th fret, back to the ninth fret, diminished chord, and back to that C. So, so far we have this. Alright, so... That is probably the part that's played the most in the song. Now, 
every other time he plays it, the only thing that changes is that second chord. He starts the same chord, and here he just goes, he moves up, so now he's doing a bar across four strings at the sixth fret, and then still adding the ninth fret here on the high E string. And you do that for the full bar. Now we get to the F minor section, which sounds like this. All right, so that starts with this, an F minor bar here at the eighth fret here. Start off the fifth string. If you don't know that, it's the 10th fret on the D and the G, ninth fret on the B string, and you're doing a bar at the eight. All right, now you're gonna do a full bar at the, um, the fourth fret here, sixth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the G string, and then sixth fret on the, uh, the B string. Now the standard major shape here at the ninth fret. And take it back one fret and pick up the little finger so to make it a dominant C dominant chord seven chord. Now he does that dominant seventh whenever he goes from this part back to the little intro chord sequence. He doesn't do it the same amount of time each time, so there's really only three distinct parts. This progression we did first, and this intro part, and then the F minor. Now at the end of the song, instead of doing the... He likes to jump from here. in this main part. Kind of last time you play through it. It'll look like this. Okay, so what that chord is, is 6th fret on the D, 7 on the G, then 6 on the B, and 7 on the high E. So he repeatedly keeps going back to that part. So that's just the only three sections of the song. So make sure you just kind of break it down, each part individually, learn it, and then just follow along the song. It's only you know a little over a couple minutes long. So um, and just kind of listen to where each part starts. Uh, it's pretty obvious. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye bye.